Welcome back, everyone. This is Brian, and this is episode 26. We're continuing our journey into Python 3, and we're talking about JSON files. That's a little misleading. It doesn't actually have to be a file. What we're talking about is data. And let me just post some JSON data here. And I've got it in these triple quotes. That way the IDE doesn't get all mad. But really what we're looking at is this bit here everything between the brackets. So we have the start and the stop, and then we have key value pairs. Now, JSON can get a lot more complex than that, but I wanted to keep it super simple because we're not really trying to learn the complexities of JSON. We're just trying to learn how to use it with Python. First off, why do you even need JSON? What is this? What do you need it for? Well, it is for app to app communications. Now, when I say communications, this could be anywhere from network to remote calls to just simply writing and reading files. JSON is meant to be a data format. So it's not necessarily a file format. You can do all of this virtually across networks, across memory, however you want to do it. But it's an agreed upon format. So let's say I write a program and you write a program and you want to be able to read what I'm creating, we have to have an agreed upon format. And that's what JSON really is. As you might have guessed, JSON can get a little bit complex. So before we deep dive in, we need some imports. Actually, we really only need one. We're going to import JSON. Makes it ridiculously simple. I know it's so complex. But we need to import this module because we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to use code that's already written and we know works. Let's also go ahead and make a variable. And I'm going to call this file name. We're going to use this again and again. I'm going to call this json.txt. Let's start this off super simple here. So we're going to put some dictionary to a JSON formatted string. Say that five times real fast. It's a little confusing, but that's what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to make a variable called outd. You can name it whatever you want, but I just want to know that this is the output dictionary. This is what we're going to convert. So I'm going to say the dict function, and I want to make a dictionary that has key value pairs of name, Brian, age 46, and that's say cat. So we're going to take this dictionary here and we're going to output that to a JSON format. So let's grab this a little bit of copy action there. I'm going to say s equals and we want to use the JSON module and we want to dump s. Not just dump. Now if your IDE may show something a little bit different. You may see both dump and dumps with an S at the end. We want the S, which is short version for a string. So it's going to dump out a string. I'm going to feed it our variable there. I'm going to actually do the magic of copy and paste. Put a little note there, just in case somebody's confused about the difference between dump and dump S. Usually when you get dumped, it's a bad thing, but in this case, it's going to make us very happy. All right, so that was actually poetically sad, but we're going to say the string is going to be our output. Let's just run that and see what it looks like there. So sure enough, string equals, and look, it looks like a dictionary. This is what I love about dictionaries in Python in accord with JSON is they look virtually identical. It's very easy to see that and see exactly what's going on because we have our key value pairs. Let's go ahead and take that and push it out to a file. Now, remember I said, as we get more complex with Python, we actually write less code. And I found that to be very true. It's one of the bizarre things about Python. So I'm going to say with open, and we are going to say file name, our little variable there. And we're going to write that. And we're going to make a variable called app. Now we're going to say json 
dump. Notice how there's two of them. There's dump and dump s. Whenever you see the s, it stands for a string. We want to dump this. And what do we want to dump? We want to output our dictionary to the file. And I'm going to put some notes in here just in case anybody gets a little confused as to what's going on there. Very, very simple, very easy to understand. Let's go ahead and run this and it gives us the same output. Now we have this json.txt and if we open it up, it has the string, I should say stringified json or our actual dictionary in a json format. It may look exactly like a Python dictionary and that's why people often get this confused. They go, oh, you're passing Python back and forth. Actually, we're passing JSON encoded data. It just looks very strikingly similar to a dictionary object in Python. Now let's do the exact opposite. I want to say from string. So we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna take this S variable right here. Remember that JSON, did a dump s or a dump string to this little guy right here. So let's take him and I want to do the opposite of a dump, which is a load. I'm gonna say nd equal json. And in case you're wondering about some of the names like dump, yes, Python developers do tend to have a sense of humor. So bear with me on some of these video. And we're going to load s. Notice it's not load, it's load s for string. And we're going to feed it that string. And I'm going to put some notes in here. Just in case anybody gets a little confused. So load the dictionary from a string. I have this named ND. You can name this whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. And I'm going to do the magic copy and paste here. Let's go ahead and run this. And you can see our dictionary is now loaded up. Very cool the way that works and it looks virtually identical. So yes, it will confuse a lot of people, but rest assured we're working with JSON. Now in the spirit of doing things backwards, we are now going to load this from a file. So we're back up here where we said with open file in write text as F and then we did a dump and we dumped that dictionary out. We're going to do the exact opposite of that. I'm going to say with open and I want file name. We're going to just read that as plain text as F and then let's make a variable we haven't used before so it's strikingly obvious that this is loading it. So I'm going to say file dictionary or FD equals JSON, and we want to load, not load S, because that would be a string. We want load, which is going to tell it, load it from a file source. And in case you're really curious, no, variable name does not matter. I could actually name this person or P or Brian, whatever I wanted to do, does not really matter. So now that we've loaded that, well, now comes the complex part. We just work with it. It's really, really that simple. I'm going to say, when I say complex, I'm joking a little bit. This is so ridiculously simple. It's almost scary. If you're coming from other languages and other frameworks, you're kind of like, what? How is it this simple? It's just mortifying. So I'm going to call the type function here just so we can see what type, what data type P is. This is one of my little kind of gripes about Python is IDEs are great, but if you just open this up in like a plain text editor and not an IDE, you may be looking at this trying to figure out what is load really doing? What is it returning? So the type function is going to print out, or I should say give us back the data type there so we can print it out. And then let's go ahead and print out the actual variable. Let's run this again. So type. Class dict. So this is a class dictionary. Remember, classes are something we're going to cover in the near future. A class is a blueprint for an object. So this is a dictionary data type. And it is equal to, you guessed it, the information we just loaded back from the file, which is now a dictionary. 
Very simple, very easy. The main takeaway from this is JSON is a data format used to exchange data between applications. This is an app to app communication data standard. People all over the world, different countries, language barriers, doesn't matter, will say, hey, hand me a JSON file. And it's very easy to work with. When you look at it, it is a string. So it's very simple to just open this up in a notepad or a text editor and just modify it if you need to. But it's also extremely easy to work with at a programming level. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find the source code out on github.com. If you need additional help, myself and thousands of other developers are hanging out in the Void Realms Facebook group. This is a large group with lots of developers and we talk about everything technology related, not just the technology that you just watched. And if you want official training, I do develop courses out on udemy.com. This is official classroom style training. If you go out there and the course you're looking for is just simply not there, drop me a note. I'm either working on it or I will actually develop it. I will put a link down below for all three of those. And as always, help me help you. Smash that like and subscribe button. The more popular these videos become, the more I'll create and publish out on YouTube. Thank you for watching.